And this morning we are beginning with the Republican National Convention. Last night was Mike Pence's night as the vice president spoke on the third night of the Republican National Convention, making the case for another four years of President Donald Trump. And joining us live this morning via Skype is Dr. Lee Hanna, professor at Wright State University with a breakdown of night three of the convention. Thank you so much for joining us yet again this morning. I want to begin with Vice President Mike Pence. Obviously, the highlight of last night, accepting his nomination for vice presidential candidate, but some are now criticizing the fact that he did not address the unrest that's happening right now in Wisconsin. Yes, and you know we have so much has changed since we last talked with um, with how Kenosha has really taken over the national agenda, and um, you know especially with the response in, in the NBA with the protest and and everything else. And um, there were several pre-recorded messages last night, so they couldn't really address that. Or Hurricane Laura, which is also going to really swamp the news cycle and um, you know be more important to many Americans in the next few days than than anything that can be said at a convention um, and so Pence did have an opportunity with that live speech to to address that and he said a, a few things but he essentially just um, uh, it was kind of platitudes about law and order he really didn't get into um, any any specifics and um, yeah there will be some questions tonight whether President Trump will try to to meet that moment and have some some way to to, to talk about uh, th this continued crisis that we're seeing in our country. You actually led me right into my next question, mm -hmm. which is as the nation faces more unrest right now and even that major hurricane at this hour, do you think the president may be thinking about switching his tone for his acceptance speech? Um, I feel like people are have been waiting for this kind of pivot or this change in, in the president for, for five years now, and, and he tends to kind of do his thing, um, you know, regardless of what the consultants or, or others are, are speculating on. Um, you know, the interesting thing about conventions is you do get this opportunity to, to kind of directly speak to, to viewers in, in, a, in one of the most unfiltered ways. Um, and, you know, However, I don't know how many people will be tuned in just with all the other things things happening. So they, you know, the president has an opportunity tonight. Perhaps they will think about changing some of the uh, the content based on on everything that's happening. Um, but you know, it's it's just hard to tell. Dr. Lehanna, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You're going to be back with us tomorrow morning at the same time, same place, going over the same topic. This obviously tonight is wrapping up the Na uh, Republican National Convention. So thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Elise.